Hi everyone, my name is Sally Cox. I'm here today to tell you a little bit about working with images and doing some creative things directly within Adobe Captivate 5.5. I've created a blank project and I've got my blank slide here. I'm going to go up into the insert menu and go to image and I'm going to bring in an image. I have one already selected right here that I'm going to bring in. Now this image came in really large. I could scroll around and grab a corner handle and use my shift key to size it down. But what I'm going to do instead is go over into my properties. While it's still selected, I can go into my properties and down to the transform section. And here's what I would do. I would go to the X set it at zero and I'm using my tab key here to navigate. So setting my X and Y to zero and then I'm just going to change my image to have a width of 600 and as long as constrained proportions is checked when I click enter or return it'll automatically keep the image in the right proportion but size it down onto my stage. This is a very colorful image of a wall I saw in San Diego, California on a recent business trip and I wanted to show you some of the cool things that I can do with it. Again, the properties panel is context sensitive so while my image is still selected I'm able to scroll up and down here and do some really cool things. In the image edit section I can adjust the brightness. So here I can make the image brighter or darker as I see fit. I can also go in here and adjust the sharpness of the image. So if I wanted to make it look a little bit sharper or a little bit less sharp, I can do that. I can adjust the contrast of the image. So I can pump up the contrast a bit. That kind of looks cartoony, but it's actually kind of cool. Or I could set it back the other direction if I like. And that's not going to work for this situation. Um, I can go in here and adjust the alpha. So if I wanted to go in here and play, for example, with uh, making the, the alpha a little bit lower or higher, and I'm just going to go in here and set these back to zero. Sometimes when I'm recording, it doesn't really move as quickly as I would like it to. So I can play with the alpha here if I want. The alpha is the transparency of the image. So if I wanted this to be a background image, I can absolutely make it that way by playing with the alpha. Zero will put it back to um, completely transparent. 100 will make it a completely um, opaque image the way it was when I brought it in. Playing with the hue, and this is basically just fooling with the colors, I can do that and I can get some really cool effects here by playing with the hue. Very cool. And then I can also go in here and adjust the saturation and that is how much color. So the hue is actually altering the colors. Saturation is either bumping up the color or taking some of the color out if I wanted to. If I wanted it to be less bright, I can do that. That absolutely looks cool as well. Um, I can make it a grayscale image if I want to. Don't have a whole lot of control over, over how it appears here, but I can make it a grayscale directly within Captivate. I can invert the color if I want a really funky look, so I can go in here and completely turn it into an opposite. I have other adjustments that I can make in here as well. For example, I can flip the image horizontally and vertically. I can rotate it. I can crop it. I can make it fit to stage. Um, I can actually go in here and put a drop shadow on now as well. So I can turn it on by clicking the enable button. And then I have some different presets that I can pick from. So for example, if I choose one of these and then I can adjust the distance. So if I want it to be more of, an, of a pronounced uh, amount away from the image, I can do that as well. I can go in here and adjust the different directions and different angles that it comes from. These are all things that I can do directly to my image in Adobe Captivate. Now keep in mind that the original image is still going to look the way it was when I brought it in, but this allows you to do some things on the fly directly within Adobe Captivate 5.5.